Hiya, uh, my name's Stevie D, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, the subject of this video is part three of my Airfix Douglas Dauntless build. Uh, in this part, it's a painting, decaling, or transfers, like I, I like, well, they were transfers when I were a kid, they're still transfers, but you want to call them decals or decals or whatever you want just do it um, it's uh yeah like I said it's the painting and transfers part up to completion really um, I tried to uh, show some uh, airbrushing but most of it was just a video on my hand Anyway, you live and learn. Um, when, I, when I did the um, varnishing, I put the cameras in a different place so you can actually see me doing the varnishing. So anyway, uh, just let me know what you think. All right, see you shortly. Bye. Okay, so uh, in the last video, I built the built the plane up. And now I'm starting painting it, and I've primed it in Ultimate Modeling Primer. Uh, it's water-based, self-levels, sprays really well, and goes to a nice smooth finish. As you can see, um, I quite like the look of it. Now it's it's painted, well primed. Uh, if I turn it over, I've already painted it in light gold grey, and it's a it's a Vallejo model air, which is this, and uh, put a couple of drops in of airbrush and flow improver in it. Uh, excellent stuff. Makes you. Uh, Let's paint spray beautifully. Um, my eye fell in here is a bit rubbish and sanding, but uh, difference is this will be upside down and nobody will see it, so I'm not right bothered. And that bit's filled in around the cowl, looks a lot better. Um, the next thing we want to do is mask it up. Is, uh, the next thing I'm going to do is spray the tail fin here, white, as if you remember I'm going to do it in the uh, February 1942 colours and I want to make sure uh, there's no paint, blue on, paint bleed on the transfer. So I'll do that next, then spray it white. Uh, if I can I'll try and video the uh, spraying of the white on the tail. But like I say, it, it need, all this needs uh, masking up first of all. Okay, see you shortly. Okay, so I've uh, masked everywhere off that needs masking. Because I'm going to uh, paint the upper surfaces. And this Vallejo model air intermediate blue. And that goes all over the head the top surfaces. So put some in there. Yeah, it's coming through nice. Put the fan on.
Okay, so need to wait for it to dry. Well, we'll have a look, see how it is after it's dried. Maybe, uh, I don't know, I was thinking about um, doing some fading, but I don't think I will. We'll just put the, uh, we'll give it a gloss coat, we'll get the decals on and we'll get it put, unfinished off. We'll see you in a minute. Okay. Uh, the Dauntlesses are now painted. It's uh, intermediate blue. I've painted white there. And light gold grey underneath. I've took all the masking off now. I need to uh, paint some black stripes on the arrestor hook. Uh, paint that tire black. Well, dark grey. Uh, and then, what do you call it? Put some future fire polish on it, ready for decals. As if, with all the raised detail, I would have, I would think that you get quite a fair bit of silver in. So we shall sort that out. Anyway, looks all right, all right except for the canopy, which looks not too clever, to be honest. Yeah. But yeah, I'm not making showroom quality models. I'm making models that I like to build and share with you lot. And if you make them better than me, that's all well and good. Do what you want. It's a it's a hobby. Do what you enjoy. I'm enjoying this. Oh, and these are the two paints I used. Excellent stuff. A and A six six oh eight and A and A six twenty. Intermediate blue and light gold grey. Okay, so uh, get that get that paint a little bit of painting done and get it glossed over, and then we'll start doing the decals. Nearly getting to the end of this now. See you shortly. Bye. Okay, so the Dauntless has had uh, two coats of uh, Future Floor Polish, making it nice and shiny. So it's now time to get on with the deckling or putting the transfers on. The transfers, I, when, I were, when I were young, they were transfers. Okay, so oh yeah, painted the uh, rear wheel. And the arrestor hook. So let's get on with it. Uh, once I've cut out the first set of deep decal uh, transfers, I'll show you how I put them on using the toilet roll. Well, I've tried to show it before, but it's a waste of time. Anyway, let's see. That we'll see how it gets on. All right. See you shortly. All right. Okay. Right. So. Uh, an easy way to decal, uh, transfer, put transfers on the side of a plane, especially in this scale. So if we uh, So, I sort the first uh, decal in water. Now we're going to put some microset on where the decal should go. And also, I have two brushes for this for this process. This is for the micro set. It's got one band on it, and this one is for the micro so It's got two bands on it. Never use them for anything else. Okay, so if we put that on, brush it on, lovely. And we get our 
they come. Some more of the old max that's all them settle down. I just think it needs to be over this way to a touch. to give it another brush because they seem a bit stiff these uh, decals oops <coughs> so uh, now with the cotton bud I'm going to squash it down and work on it a little bit. And I'll come back and show you when it's done. Okay? See you shortly. Okay. Uh, you can see the decals have gone down. Oh, the transfers have gone down really well now. I had to use a bit of micro sol get them to really conform but as you can see that roundel is now looking really good but trouble is for some reason some of the rivets have come through <laughs> I can live with that it's really good I think it's really good anyway so I'm going to do the other side of the uh, fuselage now and then need to do the upper wing and the lower wing see you shortly hi okay on the, on the model it's on the model boxing it says cartographed about deca decals transfers Oh, but the decals were very strange when I applied them. You see, I filmed the uh, first decal being applied, and they don't like, they weren't like cartograph decal decals or transfers that I've ever applied before because they were stiff, but they were also thin. Anyway, they're all on. Every single one of them are on the, is on the model. Um, I used micro set and micro sole there on all the dig on all the transfers. And if you see, you should be hopefully you can see the rear's rivet detail through the transfer. Yeah. Oh, no. Um, but with some of them, can you see there on that one? The rays rivets have come through the uh, decal. Anyway, it still looks cool. It just needs a matte coat now. And my battery's about to go, so I'm going to charge it up. Okay. See you shortly. And we'll uh, do the matte coat next. Okay. Why do I keep saying okay when I come back to a new bit part? Um... 
Went to Matt Court this uh, model with uh, the layout matte varnish. Um, we'll spray it on. That's why it's in the booth. Uh, I've put a bit of X20 air in the airbrush to thin it down a bit. I'll just give it a good shake now. Put some in. Give it a stir up. Okay. So I'm not gonna sort, just gonna put the put the um the spray booth on now. Not going to talk because you probably won't be able to hear me over the sound of the fan. And I'll get it I'll get it varnished, and then we'll come back to it. Okay, so it's now perfectly matte. Well, uh, for only a small amount of paint, it's painted one model, and I can, I'm going to pour this back into the bottle now. So all we need left to do, all we have left to do now, is uh, take off the masking, put a rigging wire on, I think, and that'll be it. Uh, so I'll prepare for that. I'll come back to it. Just a minute. The model is a, a basically complete, all painting done, varnishing done, decals done, transfers. Just going to um, start removing the masking. Just going to show one, and then uh, get all the rest off. So you've got to be careful. So I thought. Uh, 
And does it look okay? Looks okay to me. Well, uh, what I'll do is, after I've took them all off, I'll give them a quick brush with some uh, clear to make them look better. And then do a, what do you call it? Antenna wire, and it'll be done. Won't be a second. As you can see, the Dauntless is finished. Got a, I'll put a aerial wire on it. Nice mat coat on it. <clears throat> It's uh, being made how uh, Mr. Epix wants it to be made. So, um, I hope you like it. Uh, this is the end for this model build. I will do a short video for me with my thoughts about the build, but for the time being, if you liked these videos, please subscribe, you know, the obligatory uh, YouTube begging now. If you like these videos, please uh, give us a like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Um, <clears throat> if you're a modeler, you know, happy modeling, send us, give me a comment. Uh, I'll have a look at your YouTube channel and some of, you, and some of your builds. Um, I may not comment because I usually watch YouTube on my telly. Not on the computer laptop because it's you know just a pain on the laptop. But um, that's about it really. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you in the next video and uh, that may be a car. It might be a car and another plane. If it's a car. It's going to be a 124, 125th scale all the way from it, from the USA. Uh, fancy building that. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you later. See you in the next vid. Bye bye.